G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you've had a very long day at work and you don't want to spend a lot of time cooking dinner, then I've got the recipe for you. So join me today as I make my version of a pasta carbonara that should take you no more than 15 minutes. So we're going to start off by placing our fettuccine into a pot of boiling water. So all we're going to do now is cook this till it's just al dente. So not too hard, not too soft. Okay, once your fettuccine has cooked to perfection, we're going to turn down the heat to low. Now we're going to take these, take the fettuccine off. We're going to drain it and drain it as well as you can. Get as much water off it as you can. Okay, now that I've drained the pasta, I'm going to place it back into the pot. Remember, this is on a low heat. Now to that, I'm going to add in about two cups of cream. And then three egg yolks. What the egg yolks are going to do, they're going to help thicken the sauce. And then about half a cup of fresh parmesan. So what we're going to do now is just stir this all around. Make sure it's completely stirred through, especially the egg yolks. And we're just going to stir this for about two minutes. Now in that two minutes, that sauce should start to thicken up. Now while it's stirring, we're just going to add just a bit of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. And we're just going to continue to stir this through. Okay, now that that's all ready, I've taken it off the stove. Just grab some with some tongs. Grab some of that lovely pasta. And we're not going to stop there, we're just going to lift it up, place it onto the plate. Now, as a little tip, turn the plate as you do it, just like so, as you lower, lower it, that'll just give it a bit of height, just like so, so it's not flopping everywhere. Next, just give it a light sprinkle with some powdered parmesan, and just put on top, just put a couple of slices of some fresh shredded ham, and that's done. Now, that is a very simple and easy meal that takes literally 15 minutes to make and I'll tell you what tastes outstanding fantastic this dish is truly going to taste delish thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook Twitter and Google Plus pages please show me the love by giving me a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe